Y'all XDS logs are great for process mining. But is there a way to log even more than the standard? The answer is yes. There is configurable logging. Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and I make videos on business process automation. This video is part of a series of YAWL tutorials. Today I'll show you a new feature of YAWL version 4.5. It is called configurable logging. You can now insert log entries containing variables for tasks. These are inserted into the XES logs when the work item completes. Today's example workflow is about logging the expiration of YAWL timer tasks. The example workflow can be found in the supplementary material referenced below. Let's get started. Here on the left hand side we have the specification open and it has two tasks, task A and task B. And task A has a timer defined and the timer expires 10 seconds after the task has been started and task B expires one minute after the task has been started. Furthermore, task A has some log entry defined and the log entry is a mixture of text and variable so it says current status of the timer and then there is a variable item timer status current date time which is now and expiration date time is item timer expiry and this log entry is the same for task B so this is logging something on the status of the timers here and what we'll do now is we will just start a case here so I will press start case so now you can see the case here is case ID 1 and if we go at the admin work list we can see item A and it, this expires at 1648 and so if we refresh this we can see now it has already expired we, we already have the item B here and now item B is offered to the participant here below the engineer 1 and so I will just open this and complete it. And so now we have two different ways, one, one expired and one is not expired. And what we'll do now, we'll go to case management as the administrator. And here on the right hand side, we go to download log. And this will now download the log and we open this XES file now. And Pull it over here and so if we scroll down now in the XES file um, we have task A several entries and now here we have an entry for task A and this says current status of the timer expired current date time 1648 and expiration date time 1648. So this is an expired um, work item here. And if we scroll down further, we have an entry for task B and this says current status of the timer active, current date time 1649 and expiration date time 1649 and 55 seconds so the expiration date time is still in the future and we see how this has finished here. Now you can do some statistics on timer expiration using process mining tools. This was just one example. There are many possibilities described in the section configurable logging in the YAWL user manual. Try these yourself and let me know in the comments how it's going. 